Hello everyone, this is Mary Beth with Day One Life Coaching and welcome to my first video. I'm excited to do this video today because my passion project is finally complete. As most of you know, I'm a life coach and I specialize in addiction recovery as well as law of attraction. And these are the new cards that I finally got received and they are ready to be mailed to you. So what they are is Oracle cards. And Oracle cards um, is going to be a fun and unique tool for anyone who's trying to either break a really bad habit, um, lose weight, um, kick alcohol out of their life like I did. Actually, that was um, my inspiration for creating these cards is because every single card is a technique that I personally use to quit drinking alcohol. Um, I don't know if I would label myself an alcoholic. A lot of people would, but I do not personally put that label on myself now. Um, however, I did com completely quit drinking alcohol because I had an unhealthy relationship with alcohol, uh, namely red wine. That was my vice. But so when I was um, just out for a walk one day, I was inspired with this idea to create these law of attraction cards to help other people um, who are looking to um, start new positive habits or um, just get rid of negative ones. For instance, um, what is an addiction? So anything that is disturbing your life in some way that you don't have control over. Anytime that you are doing something and it creates um, a, negative, a negative response in you, um, like something that maybe has a, a nice temporary benefit, um, such as having fun while you're drinking, um, maybe overeating, you know, maybe you are trying to break a food addiction, um, could be a toxic relationship. It could even be that you're addicted to your cell phones as most of us are these days, um, in addition to shopping. Even just um, not being able to control your shopping habits is an addiction, it really is, because it will affect your life in a negative way when you're spending money that you don't really have in the bank. Gambling, there are people who are addicted to porn, sex addicts, um, that could really affect your relationship if you're one of those people. And it is no joke. It could, it could be a relationship ender. So anything like that, um, that you're trying to quit, it could be smoking cigarettes. It could be, you know, hard drugs. Uh, maybe you just smoke too much marijuana and it's making you really not feel any kind of passion for life and maybe a little bit lazy. So anything that you've been trying to quit and you're having a problem, these are the cards for you. So they're really easy and fun and unique, just a little tool to add to your recovery. Um, there's instructions in here, but basically I will go over this with you. Um, it's got four extra cards in here. My story, it's got a card for, uh, with the instructions. And then we also have some special thanks and uh, an appreciation list. But other than that, there's gonna be 44 cards um, after you take those four out, there's going to be 44 left over that have all of the addiction recovery techniques, and you are going to pick one card per day to focus on. So what you're going to first do, well, let me show you a card first. They all have a picture on the front with a title and some words, and on the back is where you're going to actually find the content. So the content and the instructions to follow and your focus for the day, you will find on the back of each card. So when you first get your box, you're gonna wanna take out those four extra cards and then knock on the cards, knock off old energy. Um, I'll explain this later. It's, it's explained in my decks too, in the instructions, but basically law of attraction means everything is energy. Um, it is a universal law, just like gravity, it just is. And most of us just kind of live um, by default. Like it's, it's in your life, it's acting in your life whether you are aware of it or not. And so these cards are gonna help you kind of use that law deliberately and create a better, create a better life, create your better reality for yourself. So like I said, knock on the cards three times 
knock off any old energy. I do this every time I use them. Any type of Oracle card, actually, if you already have some, you know. Just knock off that old energy. And then you're just gonna kind of shuffle however you know how. I'm really not good at shuffling, but you're gonna really wanna tune in. Um, whatever you believe, if you are a Christian, you know, ask for help, you know, you know, Jesus, um, just God in general. You're, if you are an atheist, it, you know, these cards are still gonna work because it's based on the universal law of attraction, which is energy. But it does help when you ask for help and you tune in. Take some quiet time, don't just randomly just grab a card. Because what you're gonna notice is when you're shuffling, you will be prompted to stop at a specific point. So just shuffle until you feel like, some people hear stop, like I just, I didn't hear it, but I just felt like I should stop on this one. And some people will actually feel the temperature of the card being a little bit warmer than others. Everyone has a different way of tuning in. Everyone has like, some people just know, they just know this is where I need to stop. Um, some people feel it. And um, like I said, you're gonna, you're gonna figure it out. You're gonna figure out what type of way that you best feel your intuition working. So, um, mine is knowing and feeling. That is clear sentience is feeling and clear cognizance is clear knowing. So this is how you are going to know when to stop and pick your card. And it works for everybody. You cannot make a mistake with these cards. Um, that's how the law of attraction works. So the card I happen to pick is one of my favorites and it is synchronicity. Here's the picture. I had actually a lovely artist I found on Fiverr app and she's a digital artist and she is magical. She literally was able to, um, when I described to her what I wanted the cards to look like, because listen, they would have been stick figures if I drew them myself. It would have not turned out so beautiful. <laughs> so um, she actually was able to take these images right out of my brain. She's fantastic. Um, her name is also included in these cards. Um, if anyone ever wants to do something like this or create their own deck or whatever you'd like to do. So um, on the back of the card, so you're gonna like look at the front when you first get it, um, take a look at the picture and see what you feel. And then you're gonna flip the card over and this is gonna be your card for the day, your thing to focus on. Like anytime you're trying to quit a bad habit, you want to incorporate new healthy habits, right? So that's, that's the point of these. And um, you're gonna always be guided to the right card for you for that day. So I'm gonna put my reading glasses on. As you can see, the print is kind of small and I'm an old lady, so let's put these on so I can read these. Um, so this card that I picked, it says, everything you experience is a match in some way to the vibration that you are offering. The law of attraction is always in action and you attract your feelings and your imagination. You attract through your feelings and imagination. Sorry, I can't read my own writing. So the more you elevate your emotions, the more you will rendezvous with people and events that will guide you in your recovery. In other words, you want to be in sync with what you genuinely, genuinely want so that you find yourself in the right place at the right time. That's synchronicity. Um, the more you become aware of synchronicity, the more you will attract inspiration, ideas, people, and events that will help get you closer to your goals. When you feel good, follow the inspiration you receive to experience these enchanting meetings. Today, you are asked to use your negative thoughts as indicators. Never be upset with yourself or deny your negative feelings. The way to heal and elevate your emotions is by acknowledging those feelings and using them as a gauge so that you are aware of the areas you need to change and shift direction. We are never going backwards when we find ourselves with a lower vibration as long as you use your emotions as your personal guide. Be thankful for these indicators. That is a very important thing when you are dealing with any addiction. Um, we have that tendency to beat ourselves up um, when we maybe didn't keep a promise to ourselves, like, oh, I, you know, those tray of brownies over there, I said I wasn't gonna eat any, or I was only gonna eat one, and I ended up eating the whole tray. <laughs> you know, that's a, then what are we gonna do? We're gonna have a shame spiral, feel a lot of guilt over that, so, um, 
instead of feeling that guilt and going down that down that spiral of shame, um, don't beat yourself up. Acknowledge, move on, and just um, you know have be you know, just be gentle with yourself and um, kind of notice that you know next time you're going to make a different decision. Feel your feelings. And but just don't stay there. Don't ever stay and dwell on any negative emotion because guilt really does not going to serve a purpose, and actually, it's going to could cause you to make another bad decision. So get out of that really quickly and just move on. So um, back to the card. Never beat yourself up for not maintaining the unrealistic goal of thinking pure, positive thoughts. Instead, use your emotions as an indicator, since you are always manifesting experiences, people, and events that are a vibrational match to you, your goal is to find ways to become the type of person you would like to attract. So decide what you would like to match up with and become it. You will not attract happy, healthy people in situations if you are broadcasting negativity and sadness to the universe. Your emotions are a sign. Emotions are manifestations, so treat them as the evidence you need to confirm what type of momentum you have going today. Examine negative thoughts as they come up to discover their roots. They are always based on a false premise such as, I am not enough. Once you are aware this is merely a lie that you have been repeating to yourself, you can choose a better feeling thought and shift your focus. This renewed mindset will allow you to experience miraculous synchronicities that will keep you on the path to complete addiction recovery and the joyful life that you deserve. So this card is all about keeping this in mind, um, keeping your vibration high, really focusing on those um, emotions and I take off my glasses now. Focus on those emotions and not beating yourself up and keeping yourself in as high vibration as possible because you really do always attract what you are, how you're vibrating that day. Um, there's also something called point of attraction, which I'll get into uh, at a later video. Um, it does get a little bit complicated, but basically um, we are always creating our own reality through our thoughts and our feelings. Um, our feelings are really important. So, cause our feelings will lead to our thoughts, right? So basically this is a card that's going to, um, when you focus on that, it's gonna make your day really good. It's a great reminder that we always create our own reality, whether we want to or not. We do have control over this. That's the great news. And don't be mad at yourself when you slip out of a good vibration. That's okay. Just notice it, witness your feelings, and um, you, will, you will be fine. Don't, don't dig in. Don't dig into those negative emotions of shame and guilt. They will not serve you at all. And just remember, you're always creating your next manifestation. And even thoughts and feelings themselves are a manifestation. So regarding these cards, there are 44 of them in the deck. And they are for sale now. And if you would like to um, either message me or um, you can call my cell phone even, I will get them in the mail to you um, as soon as possible. If you know anyone who is struggling with addiction or you yourself are struggling, or you know, even if you're just, let's say it's alcohol, if you're just sober curious um, and you're not even sure yet, these cards are still gonna help you, um, you know, just maybe um, eliminate, be a little bit more um, moderate in your drinking, help you stay a little more focused. Focus is everything. Um, so you can call my cell phone, uh, 513-668-0789, um, my website, dayonelifecoaching.com. You could also find me on Facebook, which, um, is day one life coaching is my page and shoot me a message on there. And I'm also on Instagram. Day one life coaching is my handle. Um, it's day underscore one underscore life underscore coaching. So that's it. Um, so um, follow me on there and ask me any questions. If you want more details, of course, I will answer anything that you need um, as soon as possible. I will get to your message as soon as possible. Um, so thank and leave me a message. If I don't answer, I will call you back. Leave me your phone number and um, we will get these to you. But thank you so much for watching my first video. Have a great day.